Alright guys, what's good? It's your boy Adrenaline and today I come to you bearing a new Yu-Gi-Oh set that came out literally today. It is currently the 9th of March um, 2023 and we're going to be opening this now. So this personally is kind of special to me uh, just because today is my birthday. It is my 28th birthday today. So it's pretty cool that they've actually released a set um, on my birthday, um, but yes, this Yu Gi Oh set is called Maze of Memories, and there's quite a lot of cards that you will recognize if you're into the original or OG series of Yu Gi Oh, as in the first series that ever came out. But in this set, in particular, we get seven cards per pack, 24 packs per box, uh, one foil in every pack, and I do believe on the side or the back somewhere. It does say, uh, let me just flip this over, it does say here, entire set includes 42 rare cards, 15 super rare cards, and 10 ultra rare cards, but is, that is also forgetting the um, collector rares that are also in here. So, if you just give me a moment, I will see this might be alright to try and pull, because these can be quite difficult at times to open sometimes. Get in there though. Might damage the box, box, but that's okay. I keep these uh, boxes now as a little collection as to sort of say, you know, I've had these particular sets. Um, I have sleeves on deck, I have card holders on deck, so let's get straight into it. There we go. Okay, and we're back. Okay, so essentially I've just got the packs out of the box and um, shuffled them and just put them into piles. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. So let's start with the right side. I haven't shuffled them very well, but hey ho, let's go. Okay, so we have time to stand up. We have Kazijin, I believe it is, which I'll put to the side there. Battle Royale mode joining. We have a Soul of the Supreme King. A Saga of the Dragon Emperor. We have a Cost Down and... Ooh, okay, I'll take that as a super rare. We have a Salmon Judgment. This is one card that I actually really did want. Um, so I will be evidently um, sleeving this pretty much straight away. So just bear with me one second. Okay, so far already off to a good start. So let me just put Salmon Judgment up there. Put the pack to the side. And then we're going to carry on with the right side. Okay, so we have uh, we have Labyrinth Wall sh uh, Shadow. We have a Tratrius Trap Hole. I think that's how you pronounce it. We have a Mudan the Rika Fairy. We have Battle Royale Mode joining. Uh, Saga of the Dragon Emperor. Chaos Form. And we have Spellbook of Fate. Not too bad. Okay, so obviously today we're going to be looking for collective rares um, and of course some ultra rares as well. Um, your ultra rares as well as your collector rares are the most valuable ones that people will be looking for. Obviously that's what we're here for today. Um, but yeah, okay, so we're looking at Phaeton Orbital, Labyrinth of War, uh, Labyrinth of War Shadow, Blackwing Zeus of Elite, the Vias, maybe the Elite. We have a double attack, Wind and Thunder. Cost down. Prey of a Jirai, Jirai Gumo. And we have oh, our first ultra rare, Guardian Chimera. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and. Sleeve this. Let 
actually wrong. Okay. Angel of Blue Tears. Ancient Fairy Dragon. Okay, that's one card we are definitely keeping putting to the side. It might be just a rare, but it's a card nonetheless that I like, and it's also a synchro. We have Deep Dark Trap Hole. We have Labyrinth Wall. OG card. Um, Barian Ontopia. Not too sure. We have another Black Wing. Elfin the Raven. We have an Overlay Network, which is our super rare. Okay, this uh, this creepy little punk, uh, performer pole, duelist, extraordinaire, um, I'm going to leave this card out because I have no idea how to pronounce this, but yeah, I'm not going to try and pronounce it, Court of Justice, uh, we have a Cult of the Moon Shadow, Chaos form, and we have a super ancient deep sea king, Kolkank or something like that. Kolkank, Kolkank, maybe. Not too sure. I don't think anything will be omitted. Seems to be pretty light. Okay, angel of the blue tears. Soul of the Supreme King, Phaeton Orbital, this creepy little punk, Emperor Isle, uh, Imperial Iron Wall, Nimble Angler, and ooh, ooh. sheesh, we've just pulled this, uh, but it's ultra rare version, and now we've gone and pulled its collector's rare. Nice. Now, personally. If I'm looking for one certain card, I'm looking for the Synchro, um, what was it called? Excel Synchro Stardust. If I can get that, sick. Like, I'm a Stardust kind of person, so that is definitely one card that we'll, we'll be wanting to pull. So Blackwing, Elfin, the Raven. Now, I don't mind if I get it in a um, Ultra Rare or Collector's Rare. Either one will do me. I'm not fussed, but if I can pull it, then cool. We have Ancient Fairy Dragon again, uh, Duelist Extraordinaire, Rika Petal, we have a Moodin the Rika Fairy, we have Prey of the Jirai Gumo, Ooh. and just bent the cards a little bit there, and hopefully something not too rare. Okay, cool. Okay, so we have our first Gate Guardian of Thunder and Wind. Nice. I'm hoping I didn't bend it too much. It seems okay. Cool. So that is our first uh, Fusion Gate Guardian. Um, obviously, eventually we are looking for Gate Guardian combined. That would be pretty cool. Um, so we have a Burial from a Different Dimension. Another card I personally wouldn't mind actually using. Um, hold on one second. There we go. We've actually pulled the uh normal gate guardian as well there we go just sort my piles out so there we are we have a rare gate guardian uh mech knight red moon we have a prey of the dry gumo again nimble angler and oh wait there's another one time to stand up and we have a psy beast not too bad Okay, see what we can get. Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth. Pretty cool card. I think I'll actually use that. Super Soldier Ritual. Ooh, Red Eyes Soul. One one of my favourite cards is Red Eyes. Bearing in mind, like of all time. Soul of the Supreme King. Rita Fairy. Sango of the Thunder. Nice. And Spellbook of Fate. Yeah, the, the one uh, Synchro I was on about earlier as well. Um, I would love to get a Baron de Fleur, or de Fleur, however you pronounce it. But 
that's just wishing. It is a collector's rare as an as well as an ultra rare. Um, but yeah, okay. So overload fusion, definitely going to be using that because I love star. Uh, I love um, cyber Dra uh, cyber dragon. Forge of a new future. Royal um, decree. It's an OG card. I'll keep that one. Xerifs of the Deli uh, elite. Suijin. Phaeton Orbital and we have Evolution and Burst. Okay, we have Sangha of the Thunder, Court of Justice, Red Eye Soul again, nice. Um, Tratrius Trap Hole, how will you pronounce that? Deep Dark Trap Hole, okay. Mecha Knight Blue Sky, and ooh, okay, Geek Guardian of Water and Thunder, nice, okay. So we're getting those, um, those Geek Guardians now, the new fusions, pretty happy with that. So we have two, I believe, and they're both different ones. Okay, Mech Knight Yellow Star, Labyrinth Wall, classic, Mech Knight Blue Sky, Sewage In, Overload Fusion, uh, Cult the Moon Shadow, and hey, I think that's the last Geek Guardian, I believe, that we haven't pulled. So we have a Geek Guardian of Wind and Water. Nice. Now, some of these cards I might not actually know uh, the prices off the back pretty much well off the rip should I say um, so I don't know whether like certain supers are worth much or whatnot so just bear that in mind okay we have Saga of the Dragon Emperor we have a Mech Knight Red Moon we have a Cost Down Gate Guardian of course classic we have a Nimble Angler we have a Double Attack Wind and Thunder and oh okay so this is just a normal super rare but if you are um of course opening these maids of memories if you do get a um collector's rare this card could be worth up to 150 dollars so just bear that in mind so this though i don't know how much this is worth as a super rare i probably could look but for now, we're just going to continue with opening the packs. Because some cards as just normal sort of like super rares will literally be worth nothing pretty much. Or they could be worth like a couple of quid, but nothing compared to like the um, collector's rare. So we have a Varian Utopia, on, well, Ontopia, sorry. We have a Shadow Goal of the Labyrinth. We have Duelist Extra, Extra, sorry, Extraordinaire, or something definitely like that. Again, not going to try and pronounce it. We have a Kazi Jin. We have a Mech Knight Blue Sky, and oh, we finally got it. Gate Guardian combined. Sick. That's what we like to see. I'm saying too much, but I think I think this packet actually feels pretty heavy. Okay, Midnight Yellow Star. Let me just get this pile a bit better. We have a Double Attack Wind and Thunder. We have an Ancient Fairy Dragon. Angel of the Blue Tears. Uh, Forge a New Future. Overload Fusion. And on your mark... Get set door. A cool card in my opinion. Okay, we have a labyrinth wall. Uh Elfin the Raven. Super Soldier Ritual. We have a Suigen. Zerif of the Elites or Ze Zephos. Zephyros of the Elite, not too sure how to pronounce that first name. Uh, Ryuku Guardian, and 
we have another side beast. Okay, let me just move my mouse a little so it doesn't fall asleep on me. Well, the monitor. Okay, we have a Royal Decree, a Ryuku Guardian, McKnight Red Moon, Royal uh, Battle Royal Mode Joining. We have this creepy little punk, Gate Guardian Classic, and we have a. Oh, okay, nice. We got our first XYZ Super Rare, and this is number thirty-nine Utopia Rising. Cool. And I I could be wrong, but I do believe um, it is also a collector's rare. I could be wrong. Reek of Petal. Super Soldier Ritual. Court of Justice. Uh, Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth. Um, time to stand up. And we've got a, a set of Red Eye Soul and... We have Alci the Seovan High Protector. Okay, so we have a Baron Utopia, Untopia, sorry. Sorry, just get them into one pile so it doesn't fall over. We have a Mech Knight Yellow Star. We have a Sangha of the Thunder. Mech Knight Red Moon. We have a Kazijin, we have that card, and we have Spellbook of Fate again. Now one thing I would love to do, I'm not saying I'm going to do it this video because it all comes down to luck basically, but if I could get two collector rares that would be mint, that would be crazy. Uh, Ryoku, Ryoku Guardian. Labyrinth Wall Shadow. Um, Barrel from a Different Dimension. Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth. Um, Nimble Angler. We have Forge of a New Future and. Okay, we have another Mech Knight Crusader Avamax, I believe it's called. I feel like there might be about six packs. Okay, Burial from a Different Dimension, uh, Call to the Moon Shadow, Ooh, let me put that one there, Cost Down, uh, Saga of the Dragon Emperor, Rika Petal, Imperial Ion Wall, and we have this dude again, High Protector. Okay, move down the Rika Fairy. Uh, deep, uh, wait, Deep Dark Trapple. We have another Sangha of the uh, Sangha of the Thunder. Overload Fusion. Baron of Ontopia. Uh, Forge of a New Future and oh, okay, I, I might have missed it, but I don't think we have this one. So we have Gate Guardian of the Thunder and Wind. Not too bad. Okay, no, we have a lot less packs than I thought. Okay, so we have this pack and one more to go. Looks like we only pulled one Ultra. Pretty strange. Normally you pull about at least two, so... Yeah, okay, so we have Royal Decree. Uh, this creepy little punk. The Elite, I'm going to call it. Sewage in. We have this card, Phaeton uh, Orbital, and, ooh, okay, nice. This is only, oh, it's an ultra rare as well. Okay, I will take that, definitely. Okay, so we have, let me just get a little bit closer. We have a Black Luster Soldier Legendary Swordsman. Not bad, I can't lie. That is looking pretty sick. So there's our second ultra. That is sick. So I'm presuming the next one's probably just going to be a super rare. Um, but if we pull another collector's rare, I definitely won't uh, be moaning for sure. That's my favourite ultra of the day, in my opinion. 
just because it's Black Luster Soldier, you can't go wrong. Let me just move this a little bit, just move my mouse a little bit, and the monitor doesn't go off. Okay, Mass Pack Magic, let's go. Okay, time to stand up. We have our Black Wing Colts of the Moon Shadow, Kazajin, uh, Battle Royale Mode Joining. We have a Burial from a Different Dimension. We have a Soul of the Supreme King, and to finish to, uh, this video off, we have a... Oh, okay, not too bad. We have a number 39 Utavia Rising. So this is our last super rare. Okay, so... I think it's a bit more sort of to the left than it is the right for centering. Um, seems pretty all right at the bottom there. Now, one thing, if you're going to check if you're pulling any decent cards, is to check the corners. So say like up here, look, you can tell it's been nipped up the top there. So that might sort of cost towards your, um, your value of your card because it's not too good up there at the top. Now if we're looking at the bottom. Okay, it's not too bad. This one, not too bad. Okay. But yeah, I can see myself sending this off to the PSA graded. Now, one other thing that I will mention in this video, since I haven't actually mentioned it yet, um, I have sent off currently, I did this actually about a week ago or something stuff like that but I sent off a ghost rare dark magician uh, to actually be PSA graded um, and basically it's already been sent off of course uh, and I'm just waiting for it to come back um, so yeah at one point I will be doing like a, a little video on that probably uh, and showing you guys exactly what um, grade it came back as I'm kind of hoping for a 10 but honestly I know I'm not going to pull a 10 personally I reckon I could probably get like um, above an 8 I, I'd reckon I maybe might get like an 8, 8.5, 9 at tops um, if I get a 9.5 even better but very unlikely one thing I will say as well just before I go now these prices do vary because they may fluctuate over time, of course. Uh, you guys will know that if you've been in this game for a little while. I've not too long been into it, but, you know, I'm kind of getting back into it. Good luck to you guys, obviously, if you're going to get some big pulls. Um, and, yeah, just uh, leave a comment down below and tell me what you're looking for in Maze of Memories. Are you looking for, say, um, Gate Guardian Collector's Rare for an OG card? Um, are you looking for, I don't know, um, Dual Academy seems like a, a favourite at the moment. That was the card I was looking to pull, but I don't think I pulled it, which was Labyrinth Heavy Tank. That's the OG card. Um, now, you will realise as well, in this um, set, some of them are actually old cards that they've obviously reprinted, and some of these cards are actually new. Um, so, I do believe, for example... Um, Black Wizard Soldier Legendary Swordsman is a new card. I could be wrong, it could be a reprint, but it's an ultra rare, so I couldn't tell you. Um, Garden Chimera, I know this card has been done before. Obviously, it's got a reprint, um, well, it's got two in this set um, specifically. It's got a Collector's Rare and an Ultra Rare. Um, Solomon Judgment, that's been reprinted a, quite a few times at this point now. Um, and then, of course, you've got all these cards up there. But, yeah, I'm going to end this video here, guys. So, um, yeah, like the video. Go ahead and comment on what you would like to pull in this um, Collector Rare set, whether that be an Ultra Rare, Super Rare, or even a Collector's Rare. Let me know. Um, subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. I will be doing this at least... Um, when it comes to box sets, I will at least be doing this once every sort of um, 
once or twice a month, maybe three. It depends on what I pick up. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next one. All right, peace.